Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Post Up Spot. I'm Sean Chase. Uh, we're here on Super Bowl Sunday, a rainy Sunday in Miami. It looks like it's gonna rain all day. Hopefully the Super Bowl weather's a little bit better. Uh, we got the Rams, we have the Bengals. Matt Stafford, Joe Burrow. Uh, Aaron Donald against the Bengals offensive line, which has struggled to protect Mr. Burrow for most of the season, but the last couple of games, they've seen the locked in. Uh, Jamar Chase against Jalen Ramsey. What are the matchups gonna be that's gonna dictate this Super Bowl flow? Can Matt Stafford not throw interceptions? Can Joe Burrow dial back a little bit of the gunslinger? But that's who he is, that's why they're here. That's why the Bengals are in the Super Bowl. So let's talk about the matchups and the prediction. So my prediction right now, just off the top of my head, I have to go Rams. I just feel like it's their year. I feel like this is what they went out and got Matt Stafford to do after losing that Super Bowl with Jerry Goff and not being able to stretch the field and make throws, not having a quarterback that can make the throws all the time like they needed to to uh, optimize the McVay offense. And then they went and got they went and got some pieces defensively to place around Aaron Donald, J Jalen Ramsey, and then Von Miller. So I think the ultimate matchup today is can. Can that Bengals offensive line, can they scheme up a way to stop Aaron Donald in the middle or wherever they move him with Von Miller on the outside? Can they protect Joe Burrow so he can do Joe Shiesty things? Um, I'm, willing, I'm, 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 I'm anxious to see if Ramsey's gonna travel and follow Jamar wherever he goes. And can Burrow and, and, and Jamar make those connections today? I really do believe it's the Rams time. I really have to predict a Rams victory in this game as great as a Bengals victory will be just for the game itself and just for I think the fans the casual fans in general I'm going Rams 27 21 maybe can't see it being much more than that I will say this the longer the game drifts into the fourth quarter or deeper into the fourth quarter the game the game goes I, I, I I'm gonna have to shift towards the Bengals but I think the Rams will have it somewhat in hand by the beginning of the fourth quarter and then have to have one at least one solid dr offensive drive and one solid defensive stance to close off this championship for Matt Stafford and I do believe this solidifies Matt Stafford candidacy as a Hall of Famer or at least his puts him on the ballot or in talks to be a Hall of Famer I think we need three or four more good seasons like this and I think next season is probably going to be a better season for him because it'll be his second year in the offense with McVay so um, I think the chemistry between him and Cooper Cup over the next three, four years, if they can stay healthy, if they can keep pieces around them, with Robert Woods coming back, I think, I think that will put Cooper Cup definitely on a Hall of Fame arc. And I think it'll put Matthew Stafford on the ballot for sure. Um, I just want to take this time to pray for all these athletes that are going to be on the field today. I know many of them are people, uh, athletes of faith, people of faith, men of faith. And I just want to pray and ask God to bless and protect them as they're out there on the field. Uh, bless and protect these referees, these coaches, these people in the stands. I ask that the Lord just touch all our hearts, really. Because I want to pray for this world, Lord, that we come to see him as our, the Lord Jesus Christ as our only hope, our one savior for eternal salvation. And I just pray and bless anybody that's listening to this, Lord. And listen to this, Lord, that... Uh, they come to have a heart for you, to know you and love you, um, to seek your word, to seek your love, and to seek seek the peace and understanding that comes from knowing the one true God, Abraham, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, of knowing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And I'll see you guys soon with some follow-up videos, definitely a follow-up Super Bowl video, and definitely more content coming from the post-up spot. Uh, may God bless you and keep you wherever you are. A little bit of love, a lot of happiness, a lot more love. God bless.